I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my horoscope overview for you, Virgo, for the week of November the 30th. Now, Jupiter, of course, is still in your sign right through to the next um, August. Now, I know I probably say this every week, but there could be some new people watching. So, uh, for my regular viewers, please bear with me. For, for that. Jupiter is the planet of opportunity, it's abundance and expansion. So it's great to, uh, you know, have that in your sign. But through the year, it does interact with uh, different planets and some of those interactions can be opportunities or some of them can be uh, confronting or others can be triggers to change things. So for this week we've got an interaction with Mercury, the communication planet, and uh, it's a, a square so and it's in your area of your home, your domestic scene or anything to do with the home or around family. Um, so it, it just says to me to pull back a little bit and really listen to what people are telling you. Right, there's a um, uh, the, there's a tendency here to be a little over optimistic or if somebody is prone to exaggeration then you want to take that into account okay and it certainly could be something uh, you know any aspect to do with Jupiter and certainly Jupiter and um, Mercury and Mercury being a ruling planet is not going to be really tough uh, but it is a uh, it's just a little note to be conscious that things may not end up exactly as somebody says that they will. It can still be a great opportunity, it just may uh, be a little bit different from what they're proposing. Now, there we do have Venus and Mars in your solar second house. Um, this area is still to do with money and material security. There are a couple of aspects with Mars this week, towards the end of the week. The first one is with the Sun. Now the Sun also in your home and domestic area. So there's an opportunity around here. You probably want to put it into action quite quickly. But the next aspect with Mars is with Pluto. Now, um, Plu Mars and Pluto together, uh, you know, I mean, they're a pretty powerful combination. It can be very stubborn. Uh, it can be getting into a power play. You're a mutable sign, so uh, generally, you know, you are the one that needs to do a little bit of compromise or start it off. Um, but you've got, you might be a mutable sign, Virgo, but you have definite ideas. So, and generally you're right because you have the ability to do a lot of research. Uh, so, but, you know, just be a little careful there. There's a way, there's a way to work with people to get what you want and there's a way not to. Um, so, uh, there's an opportunity that certainly comes in around money. You want to be able to work with people and not against them, which which probably means that there's some room for compromise, okay? Now, Venus is going to move this week and uh, she's going to move into your solar third house. This is very good for business. Um, it's very good for money. It's the area of communication. And um, with Venus being the goddess of love and money, uh, there's uh, certainly feels very good uh, for whatever comes out of the mix of what's going on uh, this week then there is an indication that it's going to come out favorably okay all right so um, I, I hope that it does for you and uh, I, I you know I hope it all ends up in the mix of being very favorable um, thanks so much for watching I'm Jennifer Angel bye for now